And it'll be interesting to see how it plays out going into the this decade and even into the next decade, because if it's not dialed back, it's scary to think about where we'll be 2035, 2040, 2050, algorithmic control of all the nuances of our lives. I mean, that just seems, that seems horrible. It's passing the buck. I mean, it's basically saying, all right, well, you don't want to deal with this uncomfortable thing. Well, maybe you'll let, let AI do it for you. Yeah. And I, I, uh, I wonder which country will be the first one to use uh, AI judges and then you know, have, have maybe a branch of government that's AI. Yeah, right. Probably Japan, I guess. If I had to, <laughs> if I had to, if I had to put money on it, but uh, you know, I think that that's that's kind of the slow creep of of um, taking away our own personal responsibility and in, in in outcomes in society and, and offing it to AI. We already, most of us already experienced this when you have a some sort of a problem with the company and you call up and the rep on the other end of the line is like, I'm sorry, the drop down menu, the machine won't let me do it. Uh, you know, the, the computer won't allow it. Yeah. Um, and, or you just, or you just can't even get to a person. Uh, and I think that the world is going to increasingly move in that direction uh, rather than have algorithms uh, rather than have humans moderate content, which I think is, Moderation is really a, a, a key answer t- t- to this, um, but uh, we're going to these tech companies are saying no, no. We we want to use AI for moderation. We want to use more AI to solve all these problems, and then inevitably it's going to cause more problems. And they'll say, oh, bad AI. Don't worry, we have a better algorithm this time. <laughs> 